um, then I would, it creates an immense also honor for me to introduce our next uh, speaker, an outstanding guest. Um, it's Professor and Dr. Hussein Bagrima, the one who is the founder and the president and the chair of the board of trustees of Western Caspian University, the head of the chair of the political science and the director of the Institute of Mountain Biodiversity Landscapes and Culture, Western Caspian, uh, Caspian University of the Azerbaijan. And it also was noting that such an outstanding guest was he is a former environmental minister and um, it is a great pleasure and um, value that such um, people could share with the next generations, with all of the participants involved. And um, uh, Dr. Hussein, it would be really great if you could start your speech. Thank you very much for giving the uh, word. First of all, I would like to salute all the participants, those who join here to exchange and to share their ideas or just to discuss of problems of uh, environmental changes in our earth. And uh, at least not at the last uh, young people who just joined to learn and uh, to live our earth as nice and livable for us ourselves and new generations. And topic which uh, I would like to talk a little bit is uh, important segment of mountain protection is mountain forests and uh, biodiversity management, which has uh, open specifications uh, in all efforts of uh, professionals, uh, naturalists, and uh, just people to protect nature to mitigate. Uh, uh, climate change impacts on our life. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Grassroot Institute and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Hasrat uh, Arjman and all those partners who joined to this initiative. Uh, very good initiative, nice initiative uh, for young people who gathered now physically in Hungary and probably taking part in this uh, uh, process event. Uh, When we're talking about uh, mountain forests and biodiversity, we need to stress that uh, it is one of two most important uh, functions which they realize together with uh, glaciers. Mountain glaciers are a uh, fantastic resource of fresh water for people and for nature uh, on down levels. But at the same time, mountain forests doing similar with a little different uh, way. They uh, accumulate water, not to let it run immediately to lowland and uh, to get evaporate. Uh, they feed uh, slowly and gradually uh, springs, which are feeding in our case uh, rivers. They uh, reduce the operation of uh, uh, water, and, uh, and they uh, has another very important functions: protecting and not letting. Uh, rains and water to wash out uh, humus layer, which is uh, uh, a reason for uh, biological life in every way, including mountains. Uh, mountains are forests are not only home for uh, uh, specific uh, uh, life forms, without which it is uh, causing serious changes in mountain biodiversity. Two reasons why we lose in all world in many countries when normally we have mountains on the level of 2,500, 600 meters. In many countries now, the line of forest goes uh, not uh, higher than 1,500 meters. And reason for that are two, wood cuttings and uh, overgrazing. In areas where uh, favorable winter with no snow cover in the winter time, Seminomadic uh, uh, grazing of uh, uh, animals uh, become traditional and uh, causing uh, very often overgrazing, causing uh, serious uh, damage uh, to mountain forests. 
which for in uh, some last uh, 1500 uh, years and uh, very intensively last 500 years uh, line of mountains uh, dropped down from 200 uh, 2500 meters to 1500 uh, which is uh, which can uh, which means some can think that uh, the population which is another problem now in our uh, reality could uh, help mountains to recover themselves but reality brings absolute unexpected uh, uh, phenomena in places where people leave mountains is, uh, instead of having improved situation with the environment of mountains we have more serious uh, problems an explanation is that people living in mountains why we need to protect mountain culture as serious as mountain uh, biodiversity mountain forest where people leave mountains and go to big cities or lowland uh, it is people who live there many hundred years. They already adapted themselves. Of course, they had impact on mountain uh, biodiversity, mountain uh, uh, forest uh, sustainability, but they somehow found a way how to protect their own future. So they were using uh, uh, high uh, cut uh, uh, to, instead of uh, breeding animals, uh, grazing animals uh, in enormous numbers, they limit the number of uh, animals who are grazing in certain hectares. And uh, as a result, the impact was minimized. When they leave mountains, so happens that uh, empty lands were given for uh, leasing to big companies doing the same business in more industrialized way. And uh, norms of uh, grazing uh, were violated uh, very seriously in many countries, many places. As a result, we have overgrazing. And the last frontier of uh, protective line of mountains after forest disappeared. Grasslands are getting weaker and uh, we get uh, mountain desertification. Uh, saying so, uh, I, I want to stress that uh, all measures to protect mountain uh, ecosystem uh, developing by, developed by scientists uh, based on uh, actually interface, which are uh, interface of uh, mountain ecosystem and humans, uh, where it's possible not just to uh, Establish strictly protected areas where no activities allowed it to have national parks where people can be there, but very carefully uh, take care, care for nature around, or just uh, by uh, uh, resources, where, reserves where people can live, have their entrepreneurship in, uh, based on normal uh, daily life, but uh, with some limited uh, functions like no hunting uh, uh, or uh, protecting. Uh, botanical uh, belts of mountains, etc. So uh, it is important uh, topic, which will be discussed the uh, coming 10 years. I'm sure that uh, this uh, unique uh, event organized by, by the uh, Grassroots Institute from Canada with, in alliance with partners will have a, a good uh, contribution to train, to teach, to find good solutions for ideas to spread uh, these good ideas for implementation, to give a good uh, impact to realization of uh, the sustainable development uh, goals of uh, UN. And uh, I wish to all participants uh, successful discussions and learning process. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, we are really honored to have had you with us today. and. Uh, the points which you addressed in your speech are hopefully the ones that this school is aimed to cover and to look for the solutions, right? And um, all of the current challenges that the mountain, uh, that mountains and mountains um, to, uh, people are facing these days they 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 are brought up um and this is a really um first signs that the problem is acknowledged and that people are getting aware of that and that it is the prime time to look for the solutions so thank you very much it was really great to have you thanks <laughs>